A survey asked, how many tattoos do you currently have on your body? Of the 1,234 males surveyed, 197 reported they had at least one tattoo. Of the 1,086 females surveyed, 138 responded they had at least one tattoo. Construct a 90% confidence interval to judge whether the proportion of males have, um, that have at least one tattoo differs significantly from the proportion of females that have at least one tattoo. And interpret the interval. So let's just use the TI and Stat Crunch to crunch this interval out. So on the TI, you're going to press Stat. This is two proportions, so go over to Test. And number six, two proportion. Oh, actually, this is a two proportion Z interval. So let me scroll down, which see which one that is. Two prop Z interval is a B. Two prop Z interval. Okay, let's populate these fields here. So let's do the males first. So 197 of the 1234. And then for females, we have 138 out of 1,086. And it wants a 90%, so you can put 90 here. Okay, press enter or calculate. There is our interval. So it looks like about 16% of males have at least one tattoo and at least about 12.8 percent of females so here's our confidence interval for the difference so the lower bound is 0 0.00 and once it the three decimal places so 0 0.009 and the upper bound is 0 0.056. So what we're looking for here, if you call from the, the in-class assignment or the videos, is that if our lower bound, if if it crosses from negative to positive, so is zero in our interval. If zero is in the interval, then there's a, a likelihood, based on our confidence level, that there is no difference. But zero is not in our interval. So that there is a significant difference between the proportion of males and females. So there is a difference. It looks like A is the best interpretation they have. I would prefer if they actually had the numbers in there, but they, they didn't build it this way. It's 90% confidence that the difference is between, and let's think about these in terms of percent, 0.9% or about 1% and 5.6%. The difference is about that much, somewhere in between there. So I hope that helps. Let's do this in StatCrunch. So we're going to go to Stat, Proportion Stat, to Sample with Summary. And populate these fields like we did the calculator. Okay, so we're not running a hypothesis test, we're just doing a confidence interval of the difference, and we'll do it in 0.9 or 90. Press Compute, and we get exactly the same thing. Lower limit of 0 0.009, and the upper limit at 0 0.056. So I hope that helps.